What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to How My Coworker Had a Threesome with His Guests. But yeah, that's, that's going to be the story. We're going to get into that in a little bit. But first, I want to tell you guys how the, there's going to be a kind of a new format with my videos. Um, before some videos start, I will be updating you guys on news or things that's going on or like maybe schedule changes or something like that. And then we're going to jump into the rest of the video. All right, news item number one. I'm getting new internet. Uh, I got, I've got the obviously the router modem combo here. I got Time Warner cable, and they're going to be coming on Friday to install the internet. So hopefully, fingers crossed, um, I will have better internet. I will definitely have better internet, but what it looks like is that they like to throttle people a lot. So I'm going to be on the phone constantly, being like, "I want my internet back, you assholes." Internet, not internet. Internet, not internet. So anyways, that's going to be um, happening on Friday. Then that means the, probably the following week or that weekend I will be streaming. Make no promises. Not making any promises of exactly when, but it will be happening soon. Just have to like schedule it because I still have work and life and then YouTube and then, you know, streaming. Black Ops 3 Zombie mod tools, mods are coming out soon, hopefully. So that's going to be the, pretty much all I'm going to be streaming is just zombies, Battlefield, um, and then maybe some like GTA and stuff like that when uh, we have a chill day. All right, so it's the weekend and the restaurant is packed. One of my co-workers has just started, I think this was like his first week. So I have my section towards the front of the restaurant. He has his section towards the middle of the restaurant. So I can kind of see his section, but not really. It's kind of like blocked by this wall. Um, but I'm keeping an eye on him because I'm on, I want him to like start drowning and just like not be able to get to his guests and stuff. So like I'm trying to help him out as much as I can. So I keep glancing over there to make sure he's okay. And as I'm taking out taking my tables and doing my thing, I notice that he gets sat with this couple. And I think nothing of it. And I'm like, okay. And he takes the table and then he starts laughing. And not the laugh like, ha, that's funny, like, ha, oh my god. Like the really, I don't know what to say laugh, and I don't know what to do in this situation. So I see him do that, and I'm just like, mm hmm, okay. And I continue on getting drinks, getting food. You know, the night's continuing on. And then I hear it again, same laugh. And I look over, and, and he's at this couple's table, and he's looking at them and laughing, and he just looks scared. Like at this point, he's just like, oh my god like i can see it in his face he's just like fuck i'm at this point i'm getting a little suspicious because i heard some of the other of my other co-workers giggling and i'm like what is going on i have no idea and like i'm not in the loop because i'm like running back and forth doing my stuff i go over to his section to um, check on his tables because i'm good and i asked like hey do you want me to check on uh your table and say like, yeah sure and i passed the uh, table with the couples with the couple and this lady has no shame whatsoever. I mean, she has got skin tight clothes on, she's got a push up bra, and she's in her like 30s or 40s. So, <laughs> I instantly have an idea of what the hell is going on. At first, I thought she's just flirting with him to make her husband pissed off. That's what I thought when I passed the table. So, I passed the, uh, by the table and I hear, Excuse me, can you get insert server name here? Because I'm going to give out his real name. And I'm like, yeah, sure. I'll go get him for you. I go to the side station where Dell is. And I'm like, hey, your table wants you. And he's like, oh, my God. And he literally just, like, kind of, like, dies. And he's leaning up against the thing. He's, he's like this. And he's like, oh, my God, dude. And I'm like, bro, what is wrong? Like, what is going on? And he's like, the wife keeps asking me to have a threesome with them. And the husband's cool with it. And I'm like, what? You know, I've never heard of this before. Uh, what? <laughs> He's freaking out. He has no idea what to do. So the first thing me and another coworker say is like, first reason it's bad. You're in a relationship. Second reason it's bad. We're in Southern Texas where human trafficking is a real thing. So bad idea. And he's like, Okay, yeah, bad idea. But the thing is, is that he could have just told managers, hey, I don't want to deal with this table anymore. They're being really inappropriate. Can I have a different table? It would have been fine. 
But he, for some reason, doesn't do that and just is like, I'll take care of it, I'll deal with it, whatever. For the rest of the night, he they kept asking him, they bribed him, they said they're going straight to a hotel after. They were persistent. Like, very persistent. So when they finally leave, I pass them. And, um... This video is so hard to do because I have to make sure I don't say anyone's name or my own. <laughs> like, it's annoying. So, I pass them on their way out and I say, hey, have a great night, guys. Because, you know, I'm keeping my cool, I'm being friendly, doing my job. The husband doesn't say Jack. He's irritated. The wife stares me straight in the eyes and I swear I felt like two daggers were just going like this, like all over my body. Like... <laughs> And she's like, good night. And they just walked out. From this day on, he is reminded of that night constantly. And he he has still to this day has no idea how to react to that. And it it was just one of those things where you can't make this stuff up. Like, he had no idea what to do. We were never prepared for that. It's not like in training. Well, if someone comes up to you and then asks for a threesome, you should do this, this, and this. No, no one expects that. <laughs> so, that was a learning experience and also just, like, the butt of every joke ever made um, at that restaurant. So, that that's pretty much it. There is another story about him that I will um, make into another video later. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you didn't, make sure to drop a like onto my thumb. Do it. If you're on a tablet, you're probably going like, 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 like. And you're pausing and um, playing the video, aren't you? Ha! Ha ha! Suck nerds. But my name is Wolf, and until next time, I wish you love, 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 life, and I'll see you guys in my next video. I still don't have an outro. Doses. Mm -hmm.